What's up guys, welcome back to RPEG Electronics. It's 2023, I did want to show you guys our new uh, karaoke mixer, all right? We have these uh, custom made for our purposes. So what is a karaoke mixer, first of all, okay? A karaoke mixer lets you plug microphones into it and it lets you plug audio sources like a karaoke or your phone or whatever uh, into it, okay? And it mixes the sound from the music and the microphones together with an echo effect so that you get singing. All right, so th we designed this one uh, pretty specifically, all right, because we wanted mic inputs on the back, okay? We wanted Bluetooth, so we have an antenna here that's uh, included in the package. I'll show you that real quick, but, okay. So you get a Bluetooth antenna in the package, all right? Just screw that one in. Okay. So you get wireless connectivity. We have an optical in, that's digital in, all right? So if you're using um, a TV's output, you can plug it directly into here. We have an analog in, which is the standard red and white, which is what we'll be using for most karaoke purposes, okay? The output is all XLR output, XLR cables, and we're gonna include adapter cables for you too, okay? So we have a left and a right speaker output, that's very simple. We have a center channel output. So if you have dedicated um, center speaker, you can use it too. And you can pick if you want the center to be music or microphone just by pressing the button. And you can boost the center volume by using this little knob here, all right? We have a subwoofer output, okay? This is if you have a powered subwoofer that accepts XLR, otherwise use an adapter cable. And it'll let you adjust how much power you want to center a sub and at what frequency you have a crossover. Uh, typically, the higher you turn this up, the more bass you get, all right? The music and mic master volume in the back, all right? We just leave this at maximum just to keep our life easy because we're gonna adjust it from the front, okay? And we have a little power switch here and our simple 110 volt AC power cable, okay? So this is the US version, all right? So I'm gonna plug it in in a second. I'll show you a simple cable. All right, this is just a standard uh, PC power cable. You can use any one, but we include one, of course, for the US. Flip it on, and we got this beautiful LED knobs, all right? So we can control the main echo uh, volume, microphone volume, and the music volume from here, all right? Typically, when I start all, uh, plugging in new things, I keep all my volume knobs down so I don't, you know, blow up the sound, okay? You can plug a USB drive in to play music off MP3 uh, files, but that's kind of outdated. All right, this is to control uh, Bluetooth or USB playback. That's a uh, back song, next song, play pause. The input lets you select RCA, optical, Bluetooth, or USB. Okay, for the most part, everyone's just gonna use aux or Bluetooth probably, okay? So these adjustments here, all right, these are actually meant to be adjusted once and then you leave them, all right? You get a little screwdriver, all right? And then you can adjust it uh, to your liking. Now, we make it this way so that after you adjust it once to your liking, kids can't go around and, and you know, twist it and play with it. The only thing you, you're gonna adjust is volume up and down on these things, okay? So for the most part, in general, I like to leave everything right in the middle, see? Delay, repeat of the echo, the bass of the echo, mid, treble. You can adjust everything to your liking. Uh, mic, bass, mid, and highs. Bass, mid, and highs for the music and the balance, whether you want it more to the left of speaker or right speaker. Everything should just be in the middle, except the mic tone treble, okay? Uh, depending on what kind of speakers you have, all right? If you're getting this, that means you're probably wanting to plug into your own PA speakers, your own home theater speakers, your own uh, portable speakers, whatever it may be, okay? And that means you don't have dedicated karaoke speakers for the most part, all right? Most of the time, if you have your mic tone up very high, you're gonna hear static. You're gonna hear inline interference a lot, okay? So what I like to do is I like to adjust my treble, okay? Just quarter of the way, here's all the way down, okay? I'm trying to catch it for you in the light. And I like to adjust it just so that it's horizontal, just a little bit, okay? So this way you'll reduce the mic, uh, like frequency sounds, okay? It's very hard to kill off ground loops because people have so many things plugged in. So the mics can pick up a lot of uh, high frequencies easily, 
So if you turn that down, you'll eliminate that and everything will sound good, okay? There is a built-in feedback eliminator. Whether or not it works in your situation depends on how your electronics are set up. So you can leave it off first and then pr turn it on to see if it reduces any of the feedback noise, all right? Mic one and two can plug into here and this volume over here, we just leave right in the middle as well that controls individual mic volumes. But unless you have three or four different brands of mics plugged in, you don't really need to adjust this, okay? So the first one, the first volume controls this port and the one in the back, it says here, mic one and three. And then mic two and four, which is this one here and the one in the back, okay, uh, mic three and four here, will be controlled by that volume. Again, leave everything right in the middle and that's it, okay? Why do we have mics uh, input in the back and in the front? Well, if you're gonna be setting this up on a rack or in a media cabinet, okay, you're probably gonna have a wireless mixer, uh, sorry, a wireless microphone receiver on top and you, you wanna plug that into the back so you don't see an, a wire in the front. But if you happen to want to, you know, just plug in um, wired microphones, well, then plugging a wire in the back and then coming all the way out to sing is a little awkward, isn't it? You're going to put tension on that wire. So then you want to plug it into the front. That's it. That, it's really that simple, okay? So from here, I have my, my usual uh, in and on karaoke system, all right? I'm not going to show this off too much because, uh, well, I've been selling this for many years already. So we all know what that is. It's on my other videos. Here's the red and white output from the karaoke. All right, I'll just show that off real quick. That's the karaoke. Okay. And we're just going to plug this red and white output from this karaoke into the input. Okay. So here's the line input. I'm going to plug in the red and the white. Okay. Pretty self-explanatory. All right. Uh, I'm actually going to unplug this so I can show you guys more clearly. All right. So on here, we have the output. This is what's going to go into your speakers. You are going to get the cables included when you purchase this from us, okay? We are going to include some uh, XLR cables, all right, male to female. So you're going to plug the female side into here, and then you're going to plug this side into the back of your speaker if it has this kind of input. Typically, only DJ equipment has this kind of input, all right? Meaning um, big speakers, stand-up speakers, tripod speakers, some amplifiers have this, very few though, okay? So if you don't, this isn't, they're gonna be two included, one for each side, left and right, okay? So if you have them, use them. If not, don't worry. If you're just a home user, we are also gonna include XLR, okay? That's the three pin. Two simple RCA, red and, red and white, right and left, okay? And there, you're gonna be able to identify the cables, there's printing on one of them, all right? The printing one, I'm gonna is the red one, so that's gonna be DC printing. That's gonna be my right because red is right. It, you know, you don't have to, but it's nice to keep things uniform. So I'm gonna plug it in. All right, they have a lock one right, left, and these right and left are gonna go into your home theater receiver, your amplifier, whatever it is you may have, your wireless transmitter, your your home speaker, fine, okay? In my case, uh, for demonstration purposes, because my, my stuff is all in a very tight and well-organized media cabinet already, I can't really just run this all the way there. It's not long enough and it's not practical to show it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this wireless transmitter I have here. This transmits to my back speakers just so I can give you guys an example, okay? All right, so we're gonna plug in my power here, okay? I'm gonna plug it into my little wireless uh, transmitter. This transmits signal to my uh, back speakers, all right? So you'll be able to hear it, I'll turn it on. All right, so I'm already getting signal. You can hear some um, some buzz from my speakers, okay? And if I play some music, I should have some music. Did I turn on the music sound?
Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't plug in the cable. My bad, <laughs> ignore that. That was awkward. I did not plug this into my karaoke. All right, sorry about that. That was awkward. There we go. So I can adjust. Sorry about that last part, that was just awkward. I've, I've, I have something else plugged in, okay. So I can adjust the music volume here. And now let's plug in some microphones, all right? This is a very powerful mixer. The boosting effect of the, um, the microphone inputs is actually very, really good. And to show you this, I'm gonna plug in an extremely inexpensive, and I mean dirt cheap, like wired pile microphone, all right? This is probably like a $20 mic, if that. All right, we're just gonna plug this right into here. Okay. Now I'm gonna turn up the mic volume just a little bit. Hello, 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 hello. And now we can hear, I have microphone sound coming out from the back. But you'll notice that the sound that you're hearing right now is uh, super flat. It's just like talking. That's what the echo is for. So we're gonna turn this up to about half or about a quarter. And now you can hear there is echo singing effect. So really all you should be adjusting is the music, the mic and the echo, how, how much of each sound do you want, okay? And depending on your equipment, you know, you may have to tweak this a little bit. Okay, my Taiwanese is not great anymore. But that that's pretty much how you do a karaoke mixer, okay? You can use any type of microphone on here. You don't have to use this wired one. You can use wireless too. All right, so I'm going to turn down everything just so we don't have any popping sounds. Okay. All right. By the way, it is recommended not to use this kind of um, mixer with a wireless... Uh, transmitter because you, too many wireless things in one uh, place uh, usually does lead to some form of um, interference, okay? So there is always kind of ground loops and wireless interference. So you want to use just hardwired, but I don't really have a choice uh, just for demonstration purposes. Typically, we would never use a wireless transmitter for sound. Okay, this is a very inexpensive um, wireless microphone receiver from Toner, right? They're like 50 bucks for two mics, but the antenna is pretty small, so the range you're gonna get is very limited. But it works, it does the thing. Okay, turn on the mic. Du -du -du. Hello? Oh, turn up the volume. Hello, hello, hello. Du -du 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 -du. All right, so, you know, all microphones work, and you can see the mic volume here, all right? Uh, yeah, that's about it. All right, this is pretty much a no-brainer, okay? Um, to get the best sound, you know, you can use an optical cable if your source has optical out. If not, use RCA or optical out from your TV, Bluetooth out from your TV, okay? That, uh, that's always a possibility with these kind of things. You can cut off, as, cut off wires if you want to, okay? So karaoke, HDMI to TV, TV, Bluetooth out to mixer, that works as well. All right, it should work with any TV that's relatively modern. And that's it. This is gonna be available on rpegelectronics.com. All right, it's uh, fairly easy to use. You c it even comes with um, the ears to, to uh, mount it in a rack with screws if you have a rack. Uh, otherwise, you can just keep it right inside your uh, media cabinet. It fits nicely in an Ikea Vesta cabinet. All right, that's as easy as it's gonna get to set up a home karaoke. Okay, any other questions, just leave a comment below. I'll put a link for this uh, in the RPEG Electronics website. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next video. Happy 2023.